Hello my friends and welcome back to my channel Armok for All. My name is Markus and in today's video I like to talk about this one. Okay, so Nin Yichian did this great video about how to calibrate your TV or your LG TV under 10 minutes. And uh, yeah, all what he did is actually um, calibrating the white point uh, to the service menu. And I was just wondering, I never heard about this, but uh, I mean, let's say like this, I never, I heard about stuff like this, but I never tried it because I was sure there must be something like a menu inside the service menu where you can actually change those settings, but I never looked for it, you know? Uh, anyway, after I watched his video, uh, I decided to get this and you can get this um, from Amazon or whatever doesn't cost much you know and it's working perfect and i'm going to show you in this video what i did and uh, i'm also showing uh, going to show you a result from hcfr what i did after i calibrated first um, the white point through the service menu and then i did a 22 calibration uh, with hcfr um, why with hcfr because Kalman just drives me crazy okay with all the little bugs and stuff like this and uh, the patterns are not working correctly sometimes it's just not funny hcfr is so much easier to handle so much easier to control um, that's why i choose this software and i have to say after um, the last update from the lg uh, 3.11 something whatever i can't remember to be honest um i will put this in a video what what firmware i mean um after that, uh, that update, I experienced uh, crazy things with uh, the pattern, the internal pattern. And to be honest, I need to verify if actually my measurements, what I take, what, what, I, what I have taken before, if they're still okay. Anyway, I will share you um, a result with HCFR, which I never had before. And I really have a very good result. And what we're doing now I will show you how to get in the service menu and how to actually yeah, calibrate the white point through the service menu. And I did a, a little bit of reading and the AVS forum where uh, they uh, discussing this um, yeah, walkthrough as well. And uh, they told me or they wrote uh, it makes sense to have two different calibration. One calibration uh, for the SDR and one for HDR. And this is because um, the FARB channels are a little bit different between SDR and HDR or Dolby Vision. So probably in real life you will never notice, but uh, their suggestion was um, for SDR, calibrate the cool picture mode on for, and for HDR or Dolby Vision, uh, change uh, the um, warm picture mode to the D65 norm. Um, what I have done uh, yesterday was just uh, the SDR uh, mode, so I haven't done any uh, HDR so far because it takes a lot of time, you know, I spent yesterday just three, four hours to figure out stuff and whatever. So it actually really takes a lot of time because I like to understand every step what I'm doing. Uh, but anyway, I don't want to bother you uh, or want to... Uh, what is the word for it? Uh, I can see you're getting bored already and clicking away to Linus or whatever. Let's start straight in and I show you the service menu on the LG6. Okay, and here we are a little bit closer to the TV. I hope you can see everything. And yeah, again, um, before we start doing anything in the service menu, please make sure you're not pressing anything just for fun. You know, you can mess up your TV. So all what you're doing is on your own wrist and not taking any, you know, complaints later on. But anyway, um, on this nice remote control, you have uh, two buttons. Uh, one button uh, is install and the other one is adjustment. And what we need for our um, yeah, gain calibration from the, uh, from the, white, um, from the white balance uh, is the adjust button. Okay, so we start with the adjust button and you can see after some loading times, come on, uh, this menu comes up and uh, the password is 0413. So, and now you're in the option. And again, I would not recommend to change anything else because uh, 
If you don't know what the settings are doing, don't change it, okay? Full stop, okay? Um, we go straight to point number 10, which means a white balance. Uh, actually, I never changed or I'm really interested what is the 22 point pattern. I can just think about, you can do your pre-calibration on the TV as well, which would be absolutely great, but I haven't checked it out, okay? So we go back, we go to white balance, okay? And now we have uh, this menu, what you already have seen on uh, Nin Nichian, and I still hope I'm pronouncing this right. I have no idea. Um, so the difference what I noticed is, uh, so first of all, you don't need to use Karma for this. You can use uh, HCFR as well. It doesn't matter. The only thing you need to um, supply or uh, provide a white pattern, 100% pattern. Um, the first thing what I uh, noticed when I did this, uh, that I have to turn off my test pattern. So this this is now the background from the PC. It's just confusing because I changed uh, it to a, to a plain white or grayish tone because of yeah, burn in and stuff like this. But this is my background from the secondary monitor, what I set up in the PC. So, and uh, according to AVS forum, you really should have two calibrations, one for SDR and one for HDR. And I did this, uh, my SDR calibration is with cool and uh, warm is so far just a little bit uh, tweeted, but, uh, uh, tweaked, but not really on HDR, but, uh, but I will use warm for um, HDR and Dolby Vision. So why you should do this? Because uh, they explain it like this. So you have just three options here, a cool, medium and warm, but on the LG, you have six presets from a cool, medium, a medium, something, warm, one, two, three, or something like this. Okay, so you have actually three um, color or yeah, colors uh, settings. And the problem is, so cool is really just for cool. And when you go to medium, come on, this is a little bit stiff there, keys. Uh, and medium is already uh, uh, taking care about medium medium one or two and uh, wa warm a little bit of warm you know what i mean and warm is actually changing warm one warm two and warm three but mainly warm two okay so keep this in mind uh just because there is mentioned warm it doesn't mean it's just for one color mode or uh, wi uh, white balance mode okay so that's why i'm choosing cool because cool is really like just for the cool mode nothing else and later on, I'm using warm for HDR because uh, neither uh, cool or warm are interfering with, with each other, okay? So, anyway, so we are in this menu and again, uh, also in, in ABS uh, forum, they mention you should leave this on 192. Or let's say like this, you need to have at least one value on 192 because this is the, me the uh, peak maximum then from the TV. So um, I can remember what it has on on it with uh, 192, but I really there was something with the 912 in terms of color or whatever. But anyway, uh, I just left it like this 192, and I changed a green and blue. And also, don't touch the other values. Okay, I mean, I did it already <laughs> because I like to see what's happening, and yet there's something happening. But uh, I don't understand it quite, quite right at the moment, so don't change it, okay? Um, the only thing really what I had to do on my LG CX, and so far as I understand, and please correct me, Nin uh, I think he got an LC, uh, LG C9 and I have an LG C10. So maybe that changed something because I was sure that in his video there was, was still the test pattern ATIRE on and he has the Kalman. Uh, internal test pattern on the screen, but it's not working with my TV. Okay, I have to turn it off and then I have the screen Yeah, in this case, it's my background from the PC and this is just a backlight Okay, and I would strongly again I would strongly recommend to calibrate in this mode or where your backlight is Okay, because it doesn't make sense if you crank this to 100 and later on you calibrate something with 30 or with, with 40 or whatever it will be not correct because if you're going from 100 uh, OLED light to 30 it will change the, the white balance that's just that's how it is I yeah just trust me on this okay anyway 
I will just show you how to do this with uh, HCF, HCF, HCFR. Oh my God, no, don't do it. Anyway, I will show you this and then uh, I will show you also my results. Okay, so here we are and I just need to make sure that my OBS is running before I start doing anything and we opening up HCFR, we're doing um, new, automatic, uh, we know all of this already from the last time when you watched my video. And so to do um, this color correction, uh, of course, it closed the service menu after a couple of mini minutes when you're not pressing any button. Okay, let's go back in and again, turn this off. So. And here's my mouse uh, anyway. So, okay. Um, I would just display a 100% test pattern over there in, um, in uh, continuous reading. And we're going to this page, of course. And this is what you can see at the moment. So this is my cool, oh, come on, stiffy buttons here. So if I'm going to medium, you can see it's changed like yeah, crazy. Warm should be a little bit better, but I haven't touched it so much. But actually, we can do it with warm. Why not? Because um, anyway, I will do this later on with um, HDR. So you have your warm menu again. Leave red on 192 and just adjust the other colors. So in this case, we really touching green, and I will start with green. We have to get uh, green, of course, on the on the gray line. We just bring the green up, okay? And it looks already very good. And again, don't touch, don't touch red. When you bring it, have to bring it more up. You have now to increase green and blue, okay? To get both on. And this was a little bit too much. We're going a little bit back because we want to have a perfect result, of course. So maybe a little bit back here. Okay. Now we just double checking on this page. We have zero point one. 0 0.1 from D65, it's there's just it's almost perfect because just 0, 0.0 is perfect. Okay. Anyway, this is really, really, really good. So um, the only problem what I have, so we leave this. We, you can uh, press exit and it will will stay. So it's saved already. Okay. I double checked this a couple of times, and of course, uh, what we can do now is uh, just a quick. Um, 22 it's a 22 point uh, calibration measuring and of course all my lights are on this is very bad but what i found uh, and this is a, also a little bit different uh, to nin yichian's video um, he had really a nice uh, grayscale after he changed this so i'm not sure if there was already a existing um, calibration in the tv but if there was nothing then this result was really, really great because I have not that great result, what you can see now here. Not that great means it's really okay, but it's oh, actually this time it's much better. Wow. Okay, maybe I should just wait till this is finished because the last time it was just not as good, okay? But anyway, this time it looks wow. Can you see this? I mean, 0 0.4, come on, this is just 0 0.6. I mean, we're talking about really about a, a, a one minute or two minute adjustment in the service menu. And I have this result. And which one is this, by the way? Is this my gaming mode? I have no idea. Ah, oh, yeah, of course I have this result, sorry, because there's already, a, there's already, of course, a, a calibration in okay that's why i was a little bit i wondered because uh this can't be right you know what i mean but anyway um let me just try something we are on warm two with um with a filmmaker and dark expert and uh, i did a, a factory uh, reset after the firmware update because i had so many issues with the with Kalman. so this should be absolutely fine. And now you will see what I'm talking about because this, what you can see here, the zero one zero, the very good results is because I did a calibration on this uh, game mode already. And this is now what I'm talking about. So even I changed um, 
um, this two point, uh, no, it's not a two point calibration, this uh, chain calibration in the service menu, which is already better than if you're not change it, I'm getting this result. So, and I, it's, it's okay, it's better than before, but it's still not good, not good at all. But what I found is it was very, very easy. So first of all, I have to mention this in the ABS form, they're recommending to do this in the service menu and then just start straight with the 22 calibration. Don't bother with the two point calibration at all because the two point calibration is changing too much on the, on the input signal or whatever. And that, that's what I did. And uh, now have a look here. And this is exactly what I experienced with the game mode. I had a very bad um, grayscale. Okay, not very bad, but you can see 1.1, 1.7. It's not good, not good enough for me, okay? Um, very bad grayscale, I would say very bad grayscale. And after the calibration with a 22 point, it was so easy to actually change this because this is already very close, even it's it's 1.7, it's very close to the standard already. And it was just around five points all the time. You know, here, let's say we're talking about uh, 20 person. It was just five points uh, for red and six points for blue. And that's it. Little bit of gamma, of course, because when you look at the gamma at the moment, it's just awful. But still, this is this is an easy thing with uh, SDR com uh, calibration. So it took me probably uh, let's say an hour to make um, and I will show you the result again what I had to make it almost really really perfect and yeah I show you this wait so and of course I did the game mode yesterday uh, for the first thing and so again I have to say uh, at the moment I'm not trusting Carmen so let's let's just start um, this uh, in the game mode with cool from the service menu and just a 22 point calibration with uh, the pattern from HCFR. So why HCFR? Um, I don't trust, to be honest, Carmen, if they're really putting the right pattern on the screen. I, I don't know, because you know you do ca continuous reading uh, for doing the service uh, menu calibration and uh, Carmen stops and then the different colors coming up and whatever, so it's really, really weird to be honest really weird that's why i i decided to use um hcfr with the internal pattern from hcfr because then i'm i'm very sure um what is displayed on this video at the moment it's really a 70 ioe test pattern okay nothing else because it comes directly from the software and not from inside uh, the tv which i yeah can't prove anyway look at this result and this is the game mode and consider all the lights are on and my meter is not in the same spot uh, unfortunately I didn't took a picture yesterday but I had on almost everything and but just on the 95 I have to correct this again almost everything 0 0.1 at maximum and on 95 it was 0 0.4 or whatever so it's changing a little bit after you turn off the TV and yeah different temperature we notice but I never had such a great calibration and this is in my opinion because I changed it in the service menu and I haven't touched the two-point calibration at all on the on the LG and I just did a 22-point calibration because it, I mean it makes sense to be honest with um, the service menu you change uh, the gain you know and the level from uh, yeah the gain because we have seen it uh, after 50 percent IOE it was almost perfect almost perfect you know what I mean and just below 50 to zero you had to correct it and the, the, uh, after 50 I, I, I almost had to do any correction anymore maybe just two or three points from uh, red uh, or whatever blue so it was almost on the spot and of course, the less you change anything on the TV in terms of calibration or correction, um, the less the electronic has to do to correct the picture and stuff like this. So of course, it's better to um, get it as close as, as possible to the standard before you start calibration. And you can do this with this one, okay? So if you own a I1 display or any calibration, uh, um, colorimeter and you like to do really better calibration um, I would just recommend get one of those or these 
Is it those or these? It's, I don't know. Anyway, it's, I think it's these because I can touch it. Doesn't matter. Okay, get one of TV remote control and do it in the um, service menu. Use cool for SDR and uh, HDR uh, warm. And uh, of course, to do this, uh, you have to download the pattern uh, for HDR Dolby Vision from uh, the Carmon website. Um, I can put a link also in the video later on. Hopefully, I don't forget it. Uh, yeah, and you're good to go. You're getting this result. And this was really after I, I did a lot of testing with this, of course, before I started with this. So this took me probably 45 minutes, which is... It's a long time, but it's not because I spent with the other met method with 2 point and 22. I, I spent two hours, three hours. Really, I'm not joking. And uh, again, I haven't touched, of course, uh, the um, um, the color correction. But in the game mode, I have to say the game mode is so perfect. It's it's just that it's not worth it to change it because anyway, don't look at this. Wait for the white. Um, um, reference see look at this red red is always out but it's 1.5 green 0 0.4 blue 1.11 1. it's it's good okay it's not too bad you can correct it a little bit with the luminance you can see the luminance here is way too much that's probably because it's 1.1 1. 1. Uh, but it's okay but again you can do this and can even better calibration than i had but okay that's fine enough and i think it's long enough for this video so yeah nothing to say just get this one and be happy so thank you very much for watching me and uh, subscribe to my channel please uh, as always and yeah leave me a comment and yeah thank you bye